This is Ireland. The land of my mother and father. This is Ireland. The land where man survives off its bounty and thrives off its beauty. This is Ireland the terrible beauty. The land of poets, preachers, saints and scholars. This is Ireland to me. <coughs> this is Wicklow, on the east coast of this shitty island. And this is Mackey's shitty pub to match this shitty island. You in? You're in. Two pound each. Hmm? Try that. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. You don't want to consult the wife? Just no? get on with it. And this is me, James Powers. I'm yeah. about to do something stupid. Okay, here's one. Two. He's doing it all the same, right? Oh no. <laughs> Four. Not gonna happen. I don't do this to impress these people, and they're not my friends. <laughs> I have none. I do this to take their money, little by little, so eventually I can get the fuck out of here. Your trick won't get me again, boy. Next time you can add sucking my dick to that as well. <laughs> you said that last week. You see, I don't belong here. I'll never, ever belong here. <coughs> Here's what happened. Jesus fuck. My mom died. And my dad didn't want us. It was nice. So he shipped Pete and I here from America six years ago to live with our three heinous aunts. And this is what it's come to. I wasn't born here, I only live here. And I'm sure as hell not gonna die here. You're green. I know. In the blizzard of 77, the cars were just lumps on the snow. And then later, tripping in 7-Eleven, the shells were stretching out of control. On a plane ride, the more it shakes, the more I have to let go. Now the signal's still getting all mixed up. We're always doing damage control But in the middle of the night I worry it's blurry even without light In the middle of the night I worry it's blurry even without light I, I, I know I have got a negative edge That's why I sharpen all the others a lot like flowers or ladybugs, pretty weeds or red beetles with dots. But in the middle of the night, I worry it's blurry even without light. In the middle of the night, I worry it's blurry even without light. I, I, I miss you more. I miss you more than I knew I miss you more than I knew The boy needs his fibre, God knows. Where is he? Ah, uh, of course. 
Tyler, if you'd like some more vegetables, I'm sure now James would be happy to give you a taste of his. Oh, that's very kind of you, Maggie, but uh, it won't be necessary. Father, would you like a little bit more ham? I kept it warm for you. Oh, it is a fine piece of ham, Mary, but I've had my share. I'll take some more ham. None left. Save room for dessert, Father? I will. He will. That's enough of your hangdog looks there, James. Eat up that broccoli. And did you take your pills? Is there something wrong with him? Well, you see, Father, the boys will be bit constipated. I'm sure that broccoli now will do him a world of good. We could all do with a bit more roughage in our diet. What are you saying there now, man? Have you considered the cod liver oil? <laughs> <laughs> it works wonders on internal the boy. matters. He spends his days in the toilet, the poor creature. James, James, the boy is sick. Did you wash your hands? It makes me go something fierce. Jesus. God save us, James. Don't take the Lord's name in vain. Why must you be so im... Immature? Impish. Impolite. Improper. Impudent. Impudent! Impudent is right. You should listen to your brother, Seamus. Hmm? Huh? Who's Seamus? Now, don't get wise with me, young man. You know your Irish name. Mm-hmm. I do, Mike, but it's not my name. That's Father O'Hara, and nothing else. How about you keep your dead language to yourself? Oh, not to mention your dead religion. Well, uh... You're almost out of a job, Mike. I have the most wonderful effect on these people. Oh. What? Those are the nicest tits I've ever seen. But you've never... Never mind. Take a look at this. One of the few people I can actually tolerate is my little brother. Kind of sad when you're only friends and 11-year-old kid, but whatever. look at my sister, you fuck! You filthy little scum! Pete and I have all sorts of fun together. Christ. Thing is, he he doesn't talk much. It's the lisp. The fact that letter S is even in the word lisp is kind of cruel. But Pete found a way around it. To him, he didn't have a lisp. He had a palace impediment. And he carried this concept over to his daily life. Success became a lack of failure. Jesus wasn't Jesus or even the Messiah. He was Yahweh. Emmanuel. Or plain old. God. Synonyms. We, we probably had an S3 synonym for synonym. I have a deep respect for a man who can work around an obstacle. Roger. Johnny Bench. And second? Um. Mine's all star game, he's easy. Oh, Joe Morgan. Yeah. Third? Third. Third. Um. Third. I know this one. I do. Um. Mike Schmidt. Come on. Are you joking? Say it. Um. Say Mike Schmidt. I had it in my head just there. Every American kid in the world knows Mike Schmidt. Um. Are you kidding me? Mike fucking Schmidt, man! Ron say. That's not Ron say. Say something, James? Are you all right in there? Yeah, I'm fine. Lord, save us the poor wee thing. Where's me paper? I 
I swear to God that Gogshite paper boy is off smoking weed with his criminal friends instead of delivering papers to decent people. I've got it in here. You know I forbid that. How long have you been in there polluting my paper? Since half past four. Seems the constipation's got to bear long. Jesus, James. Three quarters of an hour doing your business. I can only speak for myself, but I'm as right as rain. Ah, for God's sake, you shut up. Try to breathe, James. In and out. In and out. He's not giving birth, for God's sake. James, you shove my newspaper out under that door and quit this nonsense. It's simple truth. There is no worse place in the world to jerk off than Ireland. James, give me me paper. It must be God's will. 16 times, Father. 11 times, Father. 18 times, Father. Since your last confession, my son. Since Friday, Father. Only out of respect for my mom, I still come here. God is no use for me. I occasionally have a use for him. Business. Oh, business ain't too bad now. What'll be, gents? Uh, two points. That'll be a pound. Pound? Happy hour. Bring your new customers. But we're the only ones here. And we're always here. Hi. You ever notice that nobody asks anybody what they are around here? No. In America, people ask people what they are. And people say, oh, I'm half German, or I'm half Italian, or I'm a quarter of this or that, or whatever. Yeah. People don't do that here. Well, maybe because everyone here are all Irish. <laughs> not us. We're not? No. That's what I'm getting at. If, if in America, we're Irish. <laughs> we're 100% Irish, but here, what do they call us? The Americans. Right. I'm Irish. Two pounds. Two. Happy hour is over, so? We ordered before it ended, so? You just waited. You can't rush a pint, boy. You should have ordered a whiskey if you were in so much of a hurry. Right, Timmy? I'm ready. <sighs> we gotta get out of here. Okay. How? I'm 16 years old. I quit school six months ago. That's Bill. He's a bookie. Bill the bookie is what they call him. Clever. I'm doing what you call an internship, I suppose. Bill's a strong man with strong opinions about people, but it's rare when you know what they are, which is why he's dangerous. I have no idea how he feels about me. Obviously, I don't ever do any of the muscle work. That's what the other Bill's for. He's a moron and an asshole. Too stupid for Bill not to trust. So, so he's good. They call him Bill the Breaker. Yeah! 
It's a fine when you got there, James. Did you at least get a good shot in. Not really. Ah, it's a little fucker. Now keep quiet there, Bill. I'm busy. <laughs> You know, this little fella didn't even get a look in. You don't say. Well, I could have told you that. What do you mean, buddy? Well, your man here is a complete pussy. It's my boy he fought, but don't underestimate him, Bill. He hurt me boy, too. Should have seen his hands. Must have used his hands a hundred times against that head of his. <laughs> All this with the jokes. Fuck off. All right, that's enough, boys. You know, James, you remind me of myself a bit. Reminds me of how I earned a reputation worth keeping. Getting your ass kicked around all day. When I left Cranny, I was maybe 11. I was a little shy, too. And I knew Limerick was a rough town. Ah, uh, rough town, Limerick, rough town. In Cranny, your worst beating would have come from your ma. Cranny, not a rough town. Should never admit that, Bill. <laughs> what are you, Jerry Lewis? Go fetch me a pint, will you? Thirsty. So, my father says to me before I left, he says, if you're going to get into a row, which is unavoidable in Limerick, don't go fighting the guy you fucked with you. And I said, what you mean by that, that? And he says, for effect, I suppose. So I'd remember it, you know. Yeah. Whispers in my ear. Then he kisses me on the cheek. And off I go. What did he whisper? No, hang on, I'm getting there. Sure enough, second day I was there, I met up with a gang of fucking toughs who were out to start. Lad, maybe my size, come up, give me a box in the head for no reason other than I fucking happen to be there. He's just standing there with his shit eating grin across his ugly mug. So I get up off the path, and I run. But not away. I race straight past the fucker who smacked me, and I jump in the air. So no, I haven't a clue what to do next. On top of this guy, <laughs> staring right at him, face to face. And you win the fight? No, they beat the shit out of me. It's laid up in St. Joe's for two weeks. But they never, ever fucked with me again. That's a fine story. It's not a story. But there is a lesson in what my father told me. He said, real quiet, go after the biggest, and the others will run like hell. Tom. Your man, Tom, by the river. Uh-huh. Owes me 340. Overdue. It's the last time we visit. In the meantime, he want a place. You tell him no. And the same goes for the boys at the bank. Got it. Where are you going to be tonight? Mackey's. Pete. How's your man, Petey? Fine. Ah, uh, he's a good boy. Just like you but a teeny bit happier. I'll get over it. Couple of pints on me. Did you know this is where Bill and his boys take the Guys who can't pay. The scary thing is they don't know what they're gonna do. Milk. <coughs> yeah, some sometimes they just talk, you know, dogs and races and, and they and they get pints up from, from the pub and sometimes they sometimes they just rough the guy up a bit. You know, every now and again. Here.
Hey, look what I found. The New York Mets. When we get back, you can trade this for box seats on me. Can't you be decent about it just this once, huh? You cheap feckin' Julia. Now try try to be a decent Irishman about it, huh? You half breed. Half breed. My father's from Wicklow. Huh? And your mammy's from where? Tyrone. Uh -huh. I'm over this. Yeah, here. Have a go. No one likes Tom much. Loosen your grip though, it's not me. I don't know, maybe it's because he reminds me of my dirty departed dad. Like this? Or maybe it's because no one likes me much either. Either way, I like him. You can't listen to words he says, but what he means. No one ever gets that. Anyway, you know the rules, Tom. Bill, Bill's not going to do that. Affect the rules. That no good Bill's as shifty as a Chinaman. Here. Be careful. If you lose my hook, I'll stick my shoe so far up your arse you'll taste the cow shite. Ah, for feck's sake, here, give me that. That's enough of that. Look, just help me out here, will you? Do you know, the dog's name is feckin' Uncle Tom. What? <laughs> Uncle feckin' Tom, do you get it? Yeah, I get it. Tom? Yeah. But it's a sign, James. It's not my decision. If you paid some back, then he'd let you next time, but you can't, so, so I can't. You shouldn't be fucking betting anymore, Tom. You watch your mouth, you little fecker. <laughs> you say fuck all the time. I do not. I say feck, which is an entirely different matter altogether. You say potato, I say potato. How does a potato up your ass sound? Forget it. Look, I'm as smart as ten bills put together. And besides, I am a man of my word. I'm just concerned. Well, you leave the concern to me. Anyway, that bill's as thick as a Pollock. I thought he was as cheap as a Jew. He is! How do you know so much about these people, Tom? Jews and Polacks and Chinamen. And you've never left this town. Listen, you're my friend and I, I think you should quit betting. Friend? I'm 40 years older than you. How, how could I be your friend, you little scutcher? Here. Ring that number. Tell him to come over to see me after tea tomorrow. You'll have your money in two days. Fine. I'm not gonna fight. See ya. Fecker couldn't catch a cold with bit him in the arse. Really. Hey, Shay. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. So good anymore. Yeah. station on a Saturday. And Mr. Considerations sent the world astray. And I can shake this fear land off. I heard the selling so sad calls. So hold If I ever want to make it back to America, I'm not going to do it in the shit money I'm making now. So I constructed a thoughtful, comprehensive list of all my duties so Bill can more carefully assess my value to his business. Any luck? Um, the boys at the Banker Square. O'Connor's paid up but not his kid. Um, 
Everyone in Greystones is paid, and Father O'Hara is 40 short. But he offered to make that up in Novenas. Hmm, that's a fine trade-off. Better pray I don't come back for me 40. <laughs> so that's 480 for today, and no work for Bill. And I have to see Podrick by the lake. And Tom by the river. Yeah, I know. Maybe Bill will have some work after all. I thought you said three weeks. No, I know what I said. Something else? Um. If you're asking for more money, I got 20 lads lined up for your job. No. Before you come in, not as you come in, Maggie. Sick, are you? Yeah, a little. Is it drink? Oh, James, try and stay off the drink. You're a young boy. No, it's not the drink. I think I have a cramp or a stomach ache. Oh, you're not fooling me. Your Auntie Maggie isn't as knackered as you think. I know what's going on. I've seen you looking at the girls. I know you have a ting for that Fiona one. Oh. I was young once, too. Porrick McKinney was his name. The sweet little face on him. The big, broad shoulders. And his lovely moustache. I'd say I did the very same thing as you in this room, on this bed. Porrick, the only thing on my mind. Of course, I couldn't do what you do, mind, but I know the feeling. There's nothing like it. So, let's have a look. What? Come on, shy boy. Let your old Auntie Maggie have a look. I can tell you if she like it. No. <laughs> All right, shy boy. I leave you alone to finish. Oh, so upset over a bit of poetry. I see you writing in this book of yours. Oh, now, if you want help with a rhyme, talk to Mary. She's a whirl with a rhyme. What rhymes with Fiona? That's a stickler. Well, Maggie's a bit of a boo, but she's right about Fiona. Are you expecting anyone? Excuse me. Are you expecting anyone? No. Thanks. I'm in love with her. Keep your goddamn trousers on. Tell your man I want half of that on Uncle Tom, right? Yeah. Talk to you soon. Tom would sell anything he owns, even his boat, just to keep his awe-inspiring losing streak alive.
He's out. Where is he? He said just leave it here. Nah, I deliver my own. I'll call back later. Suit yourself. Enough is enough. I'm not living this way no more. Sure, who'd know better than Dr Fitzpatrick? It's quite a bit of money, don't you agree? He spends his days in the toilet, the poor creature. The least we could do is send him to London. London is a difficult place for a young boy. How would he get around? In a red Mercedes sports car. What you think? He'll walk. Anyway, Catherine will take him. You better start behaving yourself, young fella, me lad. We didn't even ask the boy if he wanted to go. James, would you like to go to London? So, I had a choice. Some doctor probing my ass in London. Or I could just stay here. You right in there, love? Yeah, I'm fine. England, the polar opposite, the diametrically opposed, the receptive yin to Ireland's hostile yang. Everybody here hates Ireland as much as I do. For this tiny window in my sad life, my heart lifted. Everything at Anne Catherine's would be different. Hi. But it wasn't. You're letting in the goddamn cold. Get in. In fact, everything is identical. Did you take your pills? Like twins. I thought Aunt Mary was awful. And then I spent some time with her sister, Catherine. England, Ireland, Mary, Catherine. It made no difference. There was no hope. But then in my darkest hour, I met my savior. And he had friends too. White girls, black girls, skinny and fat. Asian, English, Mexican, Indian. Everyone but Irish. These girls didn't exist in Ireland. Because these magazines did. Did you have a good day? Fine. How was yours? Grand. Why? Don't know. You ask me. I'll get that. After jerking off for Hello. five hours to the finest in English pornography, I came to realize that maybe it provided the one ounce of pleasure I could derive in this shitty world, and something I could dedicate myself to, fully and honestly. Dr. Fitzpatrick says you're as fit as a fiddle. You can go home to Ireland tomorrow, so I'll phone Mary. James. James. Open me. Where are you? You know where I am. Open me. Thank you, James. Now, let's get down to business. Not that kind of business, dear James. Do you know why I'm here talking to you? Well, I'll tell you then. Please, turn the page. 
You have your goal. A brave and beautiful goal to get back to America. But you don't know how to get there. I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna... I know, James. I know. But watch your language around a pretty girl. What you must do is find a way. Find a way. It's staring you right in the face. What? You like me, don't you? Yes. You may not be the only one. I need your help. I can help. Pick her up! Pick her up! Oh, there's me on bio. Good man. Fucking hell. What's he doing, scratching his arse? Paddy and Rathnew has one sixty on your man there. Billy wants an excuse to visit him because his dog keeps shitting in his yard. Dark Horse is the name. Billy? Mm. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Well put there, Billy. Ah. So, James, how are things? London good? Yeah, London's, London's good. Mm -hmm. Say, did you collect any before you went away? No. All right. I'm going for a piss, so... Points go through me like bullet these days. You coming, boys? Yeah. Fucking stinks like shit in here. It's the Jacks, Bill. What have you been up to? Yeah. Same as always. Shattering the illusions of every dreamer in Ireland. <laughs> you know your man Tom is in the rear still. I didn't see him before I left, but he'll come up with it, I'm sure. Yeah, no doubt. How's your uh, little problem? Better? Yeah. Doctor says it was um, fine, nerves or something. Mm. That's good, so. Your aunts were worried sick about you. Of course, it might have been your aunt who made you sick in the first place. If it's not her dinner, it's a dinner conversation. <laughs> Mind you, I've never had a meal for myself. But I've heard stories. Yeah, well, you know, you don't have to be on a fucking Titanic to know it sank, if you know what I mean. We always know what you mean. No collects at all. No. Just uh, Fitzpatrick's 50 for, for Bonner's glory. But you got that. Mm. Yeah, I got that one. That bitch can't run in the mud. Should have known better. Have you got nerves? No. Just like a little privacy. You know, they say if you got nerves when you're taking a piss, you think of your multiplication tables. Works wonders, occupies the head. You'll be pissing like Niagara Falls in no time. You ever been to Niagara Falls, Jamie? Where's me fucking money? I don't know. Shut up. Shut up, don't fucking lie to me now. Where's me credits from Tommy? He's been crowing all over town about his win. You didn't expect his fucking dog to win, did you? Uncle Tom, you took your friend's money, which is my fucking money. I don't know. I lost it. You lost it? You fucking lost it? Are you running bets behind me back? Do you think there's a fucking training program here? <sighs> no. Who runs the dogs here? You or me, huh? You or me. Do you? No. That's right. You don't. All right, that's enough. Two 
weeks. Call on Tom tomorrow. Tell him he's got two weeks as well. I'm feeling generous. Two weeks for him? One of you fuckers is lying. Either you come up with it, or he does. Two weeks? Then I send Bill. Listen, you got my money. When am I getting my stuff? 20 Gobble Girls. 40 score with UK. 4 0. Oh. Listen, it's real important I get these as soon as possible. No problem. ASAP, man. Yeah, that's right. ASAP. Those three articles are all triple X. Uh. Good. What's the difference? Triple X cost more uh, premium. Uh, very, very hot. Um, okay. Do you have any double X? No. Okay, single X? Just triple. I don't deal in shit. Okay. I'll take all triple X. Might as well go all the way, baby. All triple X, just for you. Uh, any fetish? What do you mean? Like, man kisses woman feet, woman fucks a dog, dog fucks a woman. Very nice. No, nothing fancy. Amateur, hot stuff. Listen, just regular magazines. A lesbo. Very, very nice. Okay, tr throw in a couple of lesbo. So are we covered then? I need them in one week. I Hello? Hello? For your information, that never, ever works. One week. All the best. Next. I'm, sch I'm scheduled to be receiving a, a package or a parcel or a box to be delivered to this, this post office. It's a uh, uh, post office box number 1087. Uh, sorry, no, no. That's post office box number 1087. That's what you said the first time? Right. I think it might be a package. <laughs> Do you have a ticket now? Oh, uh, no, no, no. I don't, I don't have a ticket. It's a blue sweater, you see. But I, I don't think the package would be blue. Not on the outside. It might very well be your typical brown paper pass. With so much yeah. hatred coursing yeah. through me, I developed a wonderful knack for turning it on others. Would you believe this? Again, that's often the case. It's awful. It's awful, Father. Mm. I mean, if these guys aren't bombing women and children, or, you know, starving the homeless, they're making small talk at the post office. It's so sad. 
So sad. Right, now, there you go. All the best. Next. It's a whale of a box. Good. Oh. What you got here? Books. Books? I like to read. Taking it easy, kind of. Yeah. Have you got anything? I'm just working. Oh, your bag's a mess, Pete. What's this doing in here? Sorry. I don't even pay to sell these things. So, have you got any plans for the summer? Um, not really. I don't know if this whole thing is such a good idea. Why? Well, I don't know. How are we going to sell them all? What do you mean? What if nobody wants them? Well, we have the only magazines in Ireland with pictures of naked girls. So someone will probably want them. Yeah, but... You just got to say the right thing, Pete. I don't know. It's illegal. So's jerking off. So's underage drinking. So's killing Aunt Mary. Lots of things are illegal, Pete. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Donald, he's our first. Maybe he'll take it for two pounds. Hey, Donald, I've got this magazine. I'm taking I'll take it. Five pounds. And away we go. You're not pulling the wool over my eyes with a, with a crusty, drunk routine. Hey, Shane. Not a yank, suitable for wanks. Five pound a pop or 34 for five. Because I like your face. What can I get for a tenner? Two. Wait till I tell you. Five yeah, pound on, a pop. Happened, and so O'Sullivan takes the suspect into custody. A skinny little kid, no more than 17, 18. And now Sully's a big feckin' guy, you know? They're in the questioning room, and he just done loads in him. A feckin' beaten, broke his nose, blood all over the table. It was rough. For a petty larceny? Did he confess? He got beat so bad, they had to take him into hospital. Ah, oh, Jesus. He didn't die, did he? Don't know. The wife wanted to watch the fucking soap on BBC, so as I missed the finish. That's a grand show, though. <laughs> you need a second telling <laughs> How many we got left? Um, none. None? None? We sold them all. <laughs> Probably the only ones in town without one. <laughs> up, up, up. Father O'Hara's coming over this morning. I want you out of the house. Fine, I'm going to Tom's anyway. Oh, you are, are you? Well, I don't know what you think you're doing going over near that old drunk. He's nothing but a drunk. He's always sitting in the pub drinking. I get it, he's a drunk. Well, it's true, he is a drunk. And I hate to inform you now, but Annie Forker across the way, you know Annie? She told me what happened to him there last night. 
That woman never told no one a word of a what lie. What did she say? Got himself beat up something fierce, he did. Oh, that'll come. Cool. Probably mouthing off to some young one. Man his age, living on the dole and drinking and gambling, I don't know. You know, we're never leaving here. Ever. Oh, Jesus Christ. You must be the worst drinker in Ireland. Better improve, because you're going to be here for a while. James. Hello. I'm proud of you. You again? You're doing well. Yeah? You're almost there. Trust me. Who are you? Every time I listen to you, I get my ass kicked, or Tom gets his ass kicked. You're just a figment of my sexy imagination. So you had a little setback. You're stronger than that. I know it. That's your American spirit, James. Don't worry about Tom. He loves you. He'll forgive you. Everything will even out. But you, you're not even with everyone else. Not by a long shot. So, here's to your success. 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 Keep going, James. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Bill didn't give a shit where I got the money for him, as long as I got the money for him. All was forgiven, but not forgotten. After that, I was back to work. I'm back to business. Oh? Is that Baruja? Hi, it's James. James Powers. Yeah. Yeah, it's going well. Of course they're in demand. I don't find that surprising. The Irish, this tiny population on this incidental island, stand tall. Leviathan's the written word. 
Amazing, but true. Every meditation and narrative style, modern and postmodern thought were born and raised here, on this rock from these simple people. And most of it, the best of it really, at one time or another was banned. Illegal, amoral, filthy. Dubliners, the picture of Dorian Gray, the works of George Bernard Shaw, the poems of Oscar Wilde, and now... Well, slappers, diamond ditties, and backdoor birds. 18. Now, I want you to take these to Paddy's and Rat Drum. He's gonna give you 60 for it. And remember, only give them to him if he's alone. The ones I've marked are gonna go to... Oi. Oi what? Why only give it to him if he's alone? Well, I was gonna buy a storefront in Grafton Street and sell them out of a window display, but then I decided I'd prefer it the old-fashioned way. You know, out here with you guys. On our bicycles. It's illegal. Now let's... Off you go. Happy Hour didn't bring in new customers, but Charlie had another idea. What? Need more. You know, after paying for the magazines and delivery and everything else, we sold the magazine to practically every kid in town. They want more. Mm-hmm. Sure do. They don't have more, though. They're broke. You got a couple of hundred pounds so far. It's crap. Yeah. Half of them want to buy on credit. Credit! Someone offers me another bike as collateral. You have to branch out. I don't know. I mean, it's not right. Not Roy. Who said anything about Roy? Do you want out? No, I'm not out. I'm thinking big, you know. Expansion. If some, if some kid's gonna jerk off for five pounds to a naked chick, what's some middle-aged mick who's been banging the same wife for 15 years gonna pay? Like Mom used to say. Might as well be killed for a lamb as a sheep. Or sheep as a lamb, or something like that. I don't know what she meant. Well, she wasn't talking about naked magazines. You with me or not? Do you remember anything Dad ever said? No. This is ketchup. What I am going to show you is the risk you gotta take it for the profit I make it. If I see candy and gum, and all I see here is crap future of leisure. It's the future of Ireland. And you know what? It's your future. You look like someone who's trying to improve his lot in life. I look around your store and I see the typical papers and magazines, candy and gum. But I also see profits. I see risk taker. 
Because you've got to be a risk taker to be a profit maker. But a smart kind of risk, you know? Pure capitalism. For it is that which made Ireland the great country it is today. You know, uh, but what's going to distinguish you from the, from the seller down the road? What's going to make Joe Blow come, come here instead of Charlie Minogue's? I notice he's doing quite well, by the way. Had the Irish Weekly sold out by Wednesday. And all I'm seeing here is your typical garden variety magazines. I don't sell no garden magazines. Well, what I'm going to show you is... You're the Yank who sells the naked pictures. No. Well, yes, but... Hold on now, son. I'm not peddling your filthy shit for you. But please, just, just give me a minute. I can't condone such filth. It's fucking disgusting. Now get the hell out of me store. May God have mercy on you. You're the sick, sick boy. Your profits will be 200%. The stranger, the orphan, the American, was becoming the great emancipator. Although it might have been coincidental, I was changing Ireland. Like Michael Collins, or that guy from Tin Lizzy. You know, maybe the, the Irish heroes were no different. Maybe they didn't really care about changing Ireland as much as they did about making their own life better. But people were changing. Fathers and sons now share more in common. Many took a keener interest in religion. And the burnt out flames of passion were once again lit. It was perfect. What is it? Hey, it's still fucking Sunday. Hey, fellas. On the house as usual. Check out page 36 in that one. Oh, they'll all get equal time, the world. What the fuck is that? That bolt's fucking ridiculous. It's newer than the old one. Bigger, too. Let's get the feck out of the fish. <laughs> Maybe. It's got a motor. Mm. Make plenty of noise. No, it's big, all right. Takes up half me feckin' yard. I can take it back if you want. Ah, no, 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 no. no. Seeing as it's here, you might as well leave it there. Might as well. Hi. Hi. I'm James. Hi, James. And you're Fiona. I know. Um, so, homework. Uh, what do you study in school? Um. Everything. It's school, you know. This is just for fun. I read too. Fun. I see. It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. I haven't got that far. It's on page one. Ah. Okay. Um, bye.
Would you have dinner with me? Sorry? Would you have dinner with me? Dinner? Um, okay. At your house. Constipated. <laughs> you a hating and a barbarian. No. Um, how about the movies? Everyone likes movies. Yeah. I like movies. Oh, great then. Um, so. Saturday? Bye, James. She says, wake up, it's no use pretending I'll keep stealing, breathing her Birds are leaving over autumn's ending One of us will die inside these arms Eyes wide open Spread out ashes round the So we ones want to fight. Mickey. Stupid mutt. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Wonderful. Listen, I want you guys to keep a look out for them girly mags I've seen around. There's probably some tinker coming in from Scotland or something. Oh, jeez, Bill. He's bleeding pretty bad. All right, poor little fella. Take care of him out the back there, Billy, will you? They were coming in from Dublin, but Peyton told me no. What? The magazines. These? Will you look at the tits on that slap? Oh, holy mother of God. Is that what you're reading? God forbid it be the Holy Bible. Don't get base. Where the fuck do you get that? Keep your hair on. It's Harrison's above the Killarney Road. He's had it for ages. But I did hear a shipment came in from the north. I heard London. It seems the whole world is looking for your blood. I like it here. My dad was happy here. Oh, I could never understand my brother. And I told him when he opened this place, he'd never make a go of it. Wouldn't it be great if you knew the next words you spoke would be the last words you ever said to somebody? It'd surely be more interesting than I'm going to the toilet. So what did he have when he died? Biggest funeral this town ever saw. Everybody was there. Is that so? Since when has making money been a crime? Oh, I'm not going to argue with you. And I'm not going to let myself be upset.
Hey, Timmy. Hey, Timmy yourself. Jesus Christ. Dollars, dollars, dollars. <laughs> That's what this is about. It's a waste, you know. You're a smart fucking kid. Real smart fucking kid, figuring this out. If you came to me, partners, I'd have given you 20%, now nothing. It's over, boy. It's over. Must be 6,000 here. Why the fuck didn't you leave? I don't know. Hey, he's so busy trying to make it to America. You may not like a bandit here. You're lucky you're poor and not dead. Where are we going? This is it, Pete. We're leaving. Seth, you hungry? When Bill figures it out, it'll be tomorrow. And when he can't find us, he'll head straight for Shannon. So we won't be there. Now eat your dinner. Sharks have a go at you.
I don't want to fucking do this. I don't want to fucking do this. <laughs> Why'd you want to be an American? You're fucking Irish lad. Come on, listen to yourself for fuck's sake. Listen to yourself. Listen to yourself. Listen to yourself! Why'd you drag your poor fucking brother into it? You selfish fuck. He doesn't even want to go. So we told her, her wants to stay here in Ireland. Tell him, tell him, boy. Is that true? Let him go. Don't fucking talk to me. Let me think this out. James? James. James, sis. He sounds like Parky fucking pig. Daffy Duck, you fuck. Fuck off. All right, let him go. No, just a little one. Bullshit, they're, they're just trying to scare me. I like said, it's not true. Just go. Go! All right, let's... All of that over a few naked pictures. It's been a long while now. Sometimes I try to remember what it's like back there, but memories distort everything there. They're subjective and cruel. Still, I can't help but wonder if things turn out for the better or the worse. Most likely they're the same. It's all, but I don't worry so much about Pete anymore. Finally figured out he's smarter than me. He'll be okay. And once in a while I think of Fiona.
none of that matters because I made it. America, the land of the free, home of the brave, all that. You can't just leave all that I started here. Things are happening. And it would be too hard anyways, especially with a rap sheet like mine. Trafficking, gambling, theft, burglary, murder. It's probably better they think I'm dead. Can't go back to Ireland. But you know, I might like to, one day. God, I might like to. If we could 